a Mech Warrior. And they brought Mech Warrior in the broadcast uh, that we saw two weeks ago. We're seeing, we it was right after Warsaw Commander Change, we said they're bringing Warrior. It's got to be Control. They came out swinging with a Mech Warrior right. and took that first game. And but this hand is not as good <laughs> as the one that they had two weeks ago. Yeah, um, it could get very good uh, quickly. You know, a Cruel Taskmaster pickup, maybe just even a, a great curve behind it. But that Dr. Boom is really going to muck up their draw. I mean, this deck thrives on the initial curve that it gets. If it gets a great one, it oftentimes can outright pressure their opponent out of the game. Um, but in the right situation, nothing's going to happen. West Virginia actually keeps Keeper of the Grove and Innervate in this spot. I wonder if they know what Trinity College is going to be playing. Like, have they done research and just know that, like, this is this is a deck that they're liable to play? But Warbot, uh, you know, it's an okay turn one. It seems so underwhelming when it's just played naked like that on turn one. And West Virginia actually foregoes the turn one piloted shredder uh, in this spot, which I am very surprised by. I mean, now what do they do with the Innervate? I think they wanted to save the Innervate for Dr. Boom, but against the Mech Warrior, you cannot fall behind. This is really interesting. So they choose to want to play a little bit more on curve with the Keeper of the Grove. Turn two Pilot Shredder and then turn three have another four drop. Maybe they even draw another one behind that. But Trinity College is just going to continue to add minions to this and let that Annoyatron soak up a couple of attacks and hope that this initial pressure will give them uh, enough leverage on the board that they can just coast to a victory afterwards because yeah. they can just ignore all of your minions and attack every turn. Yeah. And West Virginia might think about uh, just using hero power here, but I don't think they can afford to forego uh, getting a body and uh, probably taking out the Mech Warper. Yeah, well, the Mech Warper is just such a scary minion. And the thing about it is the two Warbots aren't really doing much right now. So the fact that you can silence and then take out the Mech Warper spells pretty darn good things for you. And Trinity picks up a Fiery War Axe, but I'm looking at this board state, and I wonder, can they afford to attack minions at all? Like, I mean, yes, you have their one threes. It's not a ton of damage. Hit them in the face. So they, they find uh, the 2-3 out of this. Pretty beneficial for them. The Fiery War X will help them fight a little bit for board position, but they're minion starved right now. They don't have any way to fight. There's just two war bots. Yeah. They're falling behind pretty darn quickly. That Dr. Boom is going to have to do a lot of work. They're just shaking their heads like, well, I don't know if these war bots are going to get done, boys. Mech was a bad choice. <laughs> Well, this is an awkward turn for West Virginia. When you see Mech, you automatically think, there's no way we can play a Temple BGH. There's Dr. Boom and Fell Reaver sitting somewhere in that deck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that, too. That that big game Hunter is pretty much stuck in the hand. Like, for instance, against Hunter, playing a big game Hunter just as a 4-2, oftentimes pretty good because it'll contest Animal Companion. Yeah. Uh, against Mech Warrior, this is a deck that is going to like be like, well, we're out of cards. Here's the five minute eight eight that'll start burning our whole deck. I hope this is enough to get it done. <laughs> That's really, it's not a very subtle deck to, no. to be frank. And so, you know, their decisions pretty much get made for them. The, you know, their decision to, to build and then bring this deck was the difficult part uh, in terms of, you know, the right way to, to calibrate it. But West Virginia, looking at their Whoa, hand. Whoa, look at their faces. They're like, oh, yes, Fell Reaver, please. Well, Annoyatron. It's, it's okay, it'll still help fight for this board position a little bit, maybe protect these minions, but that Drew of the Claw is coming next turn, and Mortal Strike is, it's only four damage at the moment. What, he doesn't have a weapon? He doesn't noise people? <laughs> it's like looking in the mirror, <laughs> isn't it, TJ? Yeah, I forgot the rest of the commercial. <laughs> this doesn't look very good. <laughs> like, like looking, looking in, in the, the mirror, mirror. <laughs> isn't it, TJ? Oh, God. That's Hearthstone. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna stop everything in its tracks. If there is a single card in the game that Trinity didn't want to see, I would venture to say that Druid of the Claw was probably it. They're forced to Mortal Strike here and suicide a couple of these minions. Yeah. Mortal Strike. It's not quite Fireball. I want to say it's a strictly worse Fireball, but I know there's like a fringe case where it becomes better. Like, you only want to deal four damage, you don't want to deal six. <laughs> Against a freeze mage, you're trying to put him at one. <laughs> there you go, I found it. <laughs> it is strictly worse than Fireball, <laughs> I promise you. But you know what, when you're playing Mech Warrior, you're going to take what you can get. And Trinity College, I mean, this Dr. Boom is the last hurrah. There's that Look at this. They're going to regret the, the, 
<laughs> Dr. Boom followed up by Fell Reaver. That Warbot's been chipping away since turn two, though. That guy's gotten in five points of damage. That is one mana five damage on that Strictly board. better than Fireball. <laughs> And it doesn't, it actually looks like this turn, it still may not get dealt with. This may deal a sixth point of damage. Yeah. And they're going to be super sad when that Fell Reaver hits the board. Do? They are rolling pretty close to combo turns. <laughs> but the bigger story here is that there's a ton of board tension created. And when that swing happens, what does Trinity Whoa! think of this? 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. They would need 11 Yellow. damage from hand to be able to end this one. They can't do it right now. And then when you're when your opponent takes this stance, you have to respect Savage Roar. Yeah. Y your first instinct is to just you know slam all slam face with that Doctor Boom and throw down the Fell Reaver, but I can promise you that's not that's not the play right now. Nope. No. The first thing is probably to find out where these Boom Bots are landing. Yeah. When I Fell Reaver in my hand, my first instinct is just to slam the face. Just like, go. I gotta go. Fell Reaver gives you that sense of urgency. Like, I'm about to not have a deck. Hey, they do have now options to Mortal Strike uh, that Doctor Boom, which is exactly what they're going to do. And so maybe they can start swinging back now. Four, five, six, seven. Savage Roar would be 16 points of damage. So they were just going to do three back behind it to end it. Uh, so Savage Roar swipe it in the game. It looks like they're going to continue to respect it just a little bit and fight for this board position. Honestly, with the Fell Reaver in their hand, this might be an okay, this might be an okay time to do it. Oh, that's our stone. <laughs> yeah, that one doesn't feel good. Ancient of Lord doesn't help them right now, but it definitely will help them. Yeah, I, is this drawing a card? I, I think this is drawing a card. Now they want the body for Savage for Force Nature Savage or next turn. Well, they could have just used the Keeper of the Grove. I wonder, is that sticking in hand now? Ellen, nope. Yeah, two damage to the face. Yeah, that that might have been. Uh, that's an awfully aggressive play, considering you got Force Nature Savage already. Yeah. But Trinity College, I think they know their, their fate is uh, spelled All right. at this point. Well, there was a last hurrah there. It looks like using that BGH early ended up being the right choice. Yeah. Gave them enough tempo early on to close out the game with Force Nature Savage Roar. So West Virginia is going to go up. <laughs> Look at their Oh, you got Oh, you got Force Nature Savage Roar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's probably exactly what they were saying. <laughs> oh, no, no, it definitely is. Powerful House does not fool around. He's counting it right now. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe we're still living. Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's only like 30 damage. <laughs> sorry. I don't think they're sorry, TJ. <laughs> yeah. Pretty brutal. I can tell you who else isn't sorry. It's West Virginia taking the 2-0 lead right now. Yeah.